Hello once again players of good video games. My name is Nick Powell and this is my review of Neo. Now if you know me, which are a few of you do, you will know that games such as Dark Souls and Bloodborne, which this game is very close to, are not really something which appeal to me. They are drastically unforgiving and while I am curious about their story, they are just so bloody difficult that I can never get very far into any of those series. But we have Neo, it's from a different publisher, it has the same general type of style, but it has its own twist to it. So it does this game make up and get me now set and interested in this genre? Let's find out. Now, the general story of Neo is that it's set in 1500, 1600, somewhere around there, Japan, and it is it focuses on a character named Neo who has these mystical powers. He is a very tactical swordsman and fighter, and he is an explorer. He comes upon this island in which there's a bunch of weird stuff happening, and he has to try to figure out what is going on. The graphics in this game are very, very good. I enjoyed seeing the unique style of animation that this game and its creators brought to this series. It's very fun to look at. The decapitations and the fight styles all look very, very fun to see on screen. The CGI cutscenes are also very well done as well. I had really no issues with that area. In regards to gameplay, it plays very similar to what you would expect out of a Dark Souls Bloodborne-esque game. Uh, you run around areas, you fight down enemies which could take you out in a couple hits, and you gain experience. You have to go into certain areas of the game in order to use that experience in order to level up your character with different abilities and whatnot. And if you die, you have to go back to that spot where you were killed, collect all your experience, and run back to where you can use it. Now I will say this, I understand the draw of this type of game because I started to feel it. There are points where I just, just get my ass handed to me repeatedly and then I got past the section and it's like, oh hey, I can do this, this is fun and I'm taking people down really easily. So I understand the grind and the, the desire to play these types of games because if I had more time I would probably try to press on and do more and more and more with this title. That being said, I do not have patience. And so when I clear out a group of enemies and then I die once and I have to clear out that whole group of enemies again and lose all the experience I just got, that just frustrates the hell out of me. And it's one reason why these games don't really appeal to me. I was hoping this one would be a little bit different. It's the same general system. And that can get extremely frustrating as one of the reasons why I just ultimately couldn't find a fun time with Neo. I had some good times with it, but overall it's not something that I'm ever going to really continue. The story I did not get very far in whatsoever, I think I got to like the second mission before I had to put the thing down. So I will say this, if you are a fan of Dark Souls Bloodborne, you will really enjoy this game. It is right up your alley, it is that same type of game style and where it's very unforgiving and you really have to know what you are doing in order to progress through this game. And I've played tough games, I've played the highest difficulties, I have platinum a bunch of tiles because of it. They're just a lot more forgiving with my mistakes, and this one is not. And that's not saying Neil was a bad title. I think it was a good game in and of itself, just not for me per se. So, those are my thoughts on Neo. Let me know your ears in the comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe once again if you so choose. I appreciate it immensely. And as always, many people, my name is Nick Powell. And once again, keep on gaming. Quite a feat.